What's up everybody? Dave H. Dark Side Kennels. So, I got the puppy box cleaned out. They got fed this morning, all that blah, 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 blah. They're raising hell in here. I figured I'd let you see some action while they're moving around. Since they're all sleeping every time I try to show them to you. So check them out. They're four and a half weeks old. So you're trying to climb out. I'm going to put another slide in there. They're going to get out of this thing soon. There's the male I'm keeping. There's the Oreo. Look, there's the two I'm keeping right there. Try and that one. Boom. If nobody buys this one, I'm going to keep that champagne female too. There's, there's Anthony Badger's dog, black one. We got a blue one here. This blue one here got some heft to her. She, she got some, you pick her up, man, she's solid, man. Good weight to her. I mean, they all got good weight to her, but she's exceptional. If anybody's interested, 803-504-9445. Give me a call. Like I said, all the solid colors. So these two blues, the buckskin male, and the champagne. 2,000 full rights. I mean, that bitch right there for 2,000 is steel. She's nice. I mean, they're all nice, but I mean, she's exceptional. So, if anybody's interested, you hit me up. If not, I got empty kennels, that's where it'll be going. That's why I got rid of I got rid of the, the dead weight, the dogs that didn't make the cut, went to homes, good homes, and uh, you know, we're only keeping the best of the best. So because what's gonna happen is these puppies here, you're gonna see them when they get three, four, or five months old, and you're like, damn that puppy's nice, boy. And then you're gonna want it for two thousand. I tell you, once I got that thing for eight, seven, eight, nine months, nah, ain't gonna be no two thousand. You want a two for two thousand? You better grab it now, because if I got feed that boy for a year and all that, and it's gonna be more like three or four thousand. Start training and doing all that stuff. Nah, the more I put into them, the more money I gotta get out of them. You know, I gotta be able to to put the money back in to feed the dogs and buy pallets of dog food. Powder dog food's a couple thousand dollars. So, it's not profit, it's just I'm recycling the money back into the dogs. Anybody who knows this knows what I'm talking about. Shots, crop in the ears. All that stuff ain't free, man. It all comes out of my pocket. Now to get ready to lay down, probably to get ready to all snuggle up and go to sleep. Looking good though, and they're all starting to uh, trying to establish the dominance order too. You know, in, in the in the litter, they're all. Um, there's that buckskin. It's like a buckskin sable. That is, the darkness is starting to go away. It might just be all buckskin before he had a darker black line on his back. Now, now he doesn't have it. You get, Probably getting ready to take a dump, I guess. Black one looks nice, though. Look at that black one, man. Look how shiny your coat is. These dogs are eating good, man. They're getting, they're getting meat. They're getting kibble. They're getting vitamins. And they're eating good. Look how shiny your coat is on that dog. Dome pieces on too. There's my male right there. That tri female looks really good too. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna worm him today too. So I'm gonna get him wormed for the second time. Get that done. So hope everybody's having a good day. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.